It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope reading, Aquarius, let me know in the comments below. There's a cat hair on my lip, oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, uh, Aquarius, because that is how I keep up with y'all, sleep the comments. Also, if you enjoy this reading today, Aquarius, or you just enjoy my vibes, darling, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot. Now I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me, Aquarius. But remember to use your intuition, because put it in perspective, darling, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here today, Aquarius, to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, Aquarius. Um, and yeah, let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading now. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. Keep in mind, Aquarius, because it's your life to live, not mine. So let's see what's going on with you, honey, this week. We have the Two of Earth, Two of Pentacles coming in for you, uh, Aquarius. So this card says too much going on at once. The need to make a decision and considering a more playful approach. So Aquarius, it does, I kind of like to call this like my crossroads card as well, similar to the Two of Wands or the Two of... Um, Two of Swords, because with this one, it feels like you're making a choice on which one you want to sink, sink energy into further. Um, it does feel like you, and I feel like this kind of been like a little bit of a theme for you, Aquarius, where it's like you have a real, a lot of good ideas, but you end up spreading yourself thin because of you having a lot of good ideas and kind of being at a place where you're not really sure where to uh, sink your energy into and really get invested into Aquarius. So yeah, in this dynamic, I would kind of say, let's see what this looks like. Let's see how the storyline goes for you, honey, right? Let's get some clarifying cards on this, Aquarius. We have the moon card coming in here, all right? With the hermit card in the reverse. And then the Three of Pentacles coming in here. So this is a direct message, Aquarius, in terms of like making the... I can't help but this feel like this week, there's going to be like an opportunity, we'll say, for you, Aquarius, to really start upping your social game, we'll say. Making the right connections, networking really is the key word that I wanted to say for this. Is like, this is a really good potential for you to network, Aquarius. And I feel like you, through you networking, there's some type of, especially with this through your pentacles here, some type of collaborative uh, effort that you could put into something. With this two of pentacles here, I feel as if like, the options that you might be considering might be more so just solo projects where you're just kind of like, whatever it is, like you're just taking it on alone. Where I feel like Spirit's kind of giving this implication where it's like, actually, we're going to present something to you as the Hermit card in the reverse that kind of puts you in the situation, revealing with the Moon card, that puts you in the situation as to be in as the... Honey, what was that moment? <laughs> You're having the moon card put you in a situation, Aquarius, where uh, you are becoming the hermit in the reverse, where you're breaking out, where you are just getting out of your shell, which is kind of a thing, ongoing thing that's been going on for you, don't you think, Aquarius? And so with this Three of Pentacles here, I feel like you just have the potential just collaboration, Aquarius. And I feel like, you know, if you are weighing out decisions, if there is a choice between like going solo or doing something with someone else, even if you are fearing like you might be rejected or feel like you might not belong in the situation, I really feel like you should take it up, take on, take on the opportunity, really take the chance of just networking and putting all your energy into collaborative things, Aquarius. Um, let's see here. What is the other choice, though? Two of Pentacles coming in again. So definitely heavy. Like you're just dealing with like really, I don't feel like this situation is that black and white, I guess, that I can really answer, help you make the decision. Um, obviously, I'm not here to make the decision for you, Aquarius, but I feel like it's not as black and white for me to give too much insight on. Two of Pentacles coming in twice. It's really showing to me where it's just like either Aquarius is you really are just adopt, like taking on way too many projects by yourself or you really just don't know what to do like it really feels like on some level for some of you Aquariuses you don't know what the next productive step for you is right um 
And I want to just say, for my Aquariuses who are so used to, I'm going to go back to like the engaging with other energies, because I know in your previous reading, that was kind of a key point as well. Aquarius, where I was telling you not to take everything on by yourself. Um, I do just want to say, Aquarius, that... You know, I just feel like the next portion of it, like, and it's only your reading that continues on with this type of theme, always, um, Aquarius. I usually try to stray away from where it's, like, about outwardly energy um, and always about, in, like, you know, introspective. But I really do feel like for you, the best way for you to advance at this point, Aquarius, is where it's, like, you're putting yourself out there more rather than, you know, let's just say that you are a writer, Aquarius, or you're an artist of some type, some type of artistic expression. Um, maybe you always are just used to like, you know, writing your poems out and never sharing it with the world, never getting feedback and you're kind of being pushed. I feel like you're being pushed to, um, just put yourself, make yourself more uncomfortable and, um, include other, just, I don't, I don't know. Like, there's just like this sense of, I feel like you need to be more social, um, Aquarius. So I'm going to leave it at that though. Um, I feel like there's like a time where it's like you can practice and just like no one else sees like your work and, you know, you keep it to yourself. But then I feel like there's also a time where you are in actively improving yourself and actively doing things that, honey, I, I just felt something crawling on me. It's not actually something crawling on me. It's just my um, uh, blanket just rubbing on my foot, but I was about to freak out, honey. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a, no longer a time for you to be practicing in the, in the dark. Uh, Aquarius. So take that as you will, honey. I'm going to move on from that, though, because I feel like y'all get the point. Let's see what's how this continues on, what this journey looks like for you during this week. Ace of Pentacles. So once you do can make a choice on what pentacle to feed energy into, it looks like it's going to turn out to be pretty good, Aquarius. This card says an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, and important decisions or contracts. So definitely, once you notice there's the contract card again, right? Contracts, contracts, similar to the Three of Pentacles is contracts as well. Um, really speaks on... Con <laughs> You know, this is a really good wick. Uh, wick? This is, I cannot speak for y'all's reading, Aquarius. Oh my gosh. Um, I really do feel like this is a really good week of not only networking, Aquarius, but really um, doing, like, planning for your future in the long term. And, like, you know, if there's any type of contracts, if you're going to do any type of engagement in any type of contractual work, this would be the week to really do that, right? Let's get some clarifiers. King of Cups coming in here. So definitely, um, hmm, with the King of Wands as well, you definitely start getting in your element once you make this decision, Aquarius. I kind of feel like you get some, like, I feel drawn to say this message, Aquarius, where it's like some of you guys just need to not be afraid of biting the bullet with something and kind of just pulling the trigger. It feels almost like some of you Aquariuses are just so... Um, like you kind of avoid committing to any one specific thing and i feel like this is one at one of those points now aquarius where it's kind of being told um or maybe you yourself are even accepting the fact and realizing the fact that um <laughs> like i don't know it's just this sense of where especially with my, i know my aquarius is have a very extreme perfectionist nature but it's almost like because of this perfectionist nature or how you want something to reflect or look about you um you don't put yourself out there like you're afraid of like the result of like what happens after you start committing to something or what if you change your mind right it's always just feels like you're extremely in your head and you think about all these like narratives and just the idea of committing to something just spooks you out because there's no going back almost if you put out your work there's no going back from there where your work's no longer being seen right so i feel like that's what's spooking you out ace of swords yeah like this is one of those things truly uh aquarius where it's like you, you guys gotta i don't know if i even use if i use this example i know i used this example last week for a zodiac sign i don't remember which one may have been yours aquarius but it's talking about like a paper tiger right and the paper tiger where it's like you kind of have to just like go through it fight that fear and realize like all like it's one of those things where it, you kind of have to accept the action that you take you're always going to be having like the underlying like anxiousness or that nervousness that shyness right but at some point you you have to put uh, priority over you have to put your passions um having priority over like your fears and like the um 
anxieties that you'll that you might just have over the perception of others or just the idea on like what happens down the road um i don't know like i feel like there's just more so a message of just learning how to be more present aquarius nine of cups in the reverse learning how to be more present um definitely I feel like part of your, like, I don't feel like it's this weird message, Aquarius, where it's like, I don't feel like you're going to get any more purpose or fulfillment out of maintaining the path that you're currently going on. Now, I'm not saying not to continue doing like your, like not to stop pursuing this thing. I just feel like the route that you're going, you're no longer going to make any further ground. I feel like you need to switch things up a little bit, Aquarius. So let's look at how this ends for you. The release card naturally archangel asriel number four for numerology um so write that down to look up later aquarius but also archangel asriel if your practices um subscribe to this aquarius uh this is the archangel reaching out to you archangel asriel this card says the end of a phase or situation spiritual transformation and time to move on darling so you're moving on from something by the end of this week kind of confirming to me showing to me that you guys are receptive towards the idea that you're gonna have to do a different approach i feel like this is more so releasing the old methods the old mindset that you have towards the situation but i mean aquarius the cards can make me a liar with these clarifiers let's see ten of pentacles in the reverse uh is this in the reverse yeah it's in the reverse for you aquarius so definitely um uprooting your comfort zone this is definitely showing to me an aquarius that kind of is just like all right if i if this is no longer being of service to me if this is no longer helping me to my goal let me just throw myself off the deep end right um you have the king of pentacles in the reverse as well Ooh, honey aquarius you guys are definitely uprooting a lot but it's in the name of happiness right sun card coming in to really balance out this energy that was initially starting to look a little bit worrisome justice card in the reverse for you as well and then the ten of swords coming in here all right aquarius so this is showing to me where i do feel like what's partially out of balance is something that's in your current environment i feel like that's part of the issue so it's showing to me this is kind of like a message where it's just like once you leave your environment that's keeping you out of balance right um that's where the happiness is like that sun card is only associated where you like you leave like i don't know it just feels like there's something in your current environment that's just like ugh um and maybe that's even partially like what that realization is uh aquarius where it's like you have to shift things up right maybe that two of pentacles situation has all been about where it's just like all right like do i stay in the situation your current environment because it helps you save money or do i start sinking more energy into my passions move out from this place and yeah you might struggle a little bit more but you're, it's in the name of a passion right Maybe that's what your two of pentacles weighing things out is for. It's like, do you make yourself uncomfortable, you know, paying more rent somewhere else or, you know, whatever your storyline is, Aquarius, right? <clears throat> but now let's get an idea of what's going on for my Aquarius' social situations this week. What's going on for my Aquarius' social situations? So this can be your romantic life, Aquarius. This can be your professional life, family, what have you. Three of fire, three of wands, abundance. Things are looking up. Things are looking very good, rather. Have patience at this time and making long-term plans. So you have the Three of Wands at the very beginning as well, Aquarius. So let's get some more clarifiers. The Fool card. Definitely looking, pay attention. Again, notice how I said at the beginning of your reading, Aquarius, talking about how I feel like it's a really good time of networking. And this is confirming to me, this is a very strong week for you to possibly, if you play your cards right, <laughs> I'm so quirky, funny. Uh, if you play your cards right, Aquarius, you really have the potential of really making a very valuable uh, connection that would be beneficial for your future. Whether this is in terms of finances, whether this is in terms of just, you know, relationship, honey. I feel like this is a fresh, there's a person being brought in your path. There's a person in your path that you could actually connect with and really go the distance with. And Page of Pentacles, come on pages represents new energies communication right all about communication the fool card is a new chapter as well five of swords in the reverse you're disengaging from old energies um no longer disengage like i feel like <laughs> my gosh Aquarius, i just cannot speak because there's just so much i'm trying to say for y'all's reading with this five of swords this is normally a disengaged energy with this in the reverse here, this is showing to me again where it's like you're kind of being forced into some type of situation that you have to deal with because I feel like this is separate. That's giving you sleepless nights. High Priestess card. Yeah, I really, this is like a scenario, right? I don't know if you live with roommates, family, what have you. 
um, Aquarius, but it's showing to me there's just something that's just very counterproductive to your space that just brings in a lot of anxiety and you have the potential of like really letting this go, no longer trying to make this work out anymore, Aquarius, and welcoming, welcoming in new energy, new people that's showing, that's reflecting here, Aquarius. I feel like you have the opportunity, and this makes sense as to why you're being told to break out of that hermiting that when it was brought up in the reverse for you, because it's like, you may not want to communicate with anybody just because it's like already what's in your current environment is just very frustrating and not very conducive to your growth Aquarius. so yeah let's see what's going on now for my aquarius's financial and career situation this week though this is where i'm most curious about card comes flying out two of fire two of wands darling Come, you're gonna go crazy aquarius remember how i keep on saying contracts darling You've come into your own new partnerships and or contracts. Uh, continue moving forward. This literally covers Aquarius. This card right here encompasses the entire messages that I've been saying this entire time. New partnerships, people, social connecting, networking. Aquarius, come on now. Listen up. Really listen to me. Eye contact, darling. Listen. Um, in contracts, right? How many times have we had contracts coming in? And now it's talking about your work life. There's literally someone that I really feel like could be beneficial for your work life in some way truly like just straight out like there's some type of collaborative energy it's something that you could do to make money with other people like straight up aquarius we have the two of cups in the reverse coming in here and the knight of wands and the three of wands and let's do one more the devil card in the reverse so this is going to be an energy here initially um aquarius where i feel like you're not considering like doing any type of collaboration with this person, right? I feel like initially you're gonna like read this energy or read this opportunity and be like, ah, this isn't for me. Like, I feel like you might have the potential and like for whatever your reasoning is, dismiss this possibility, Aquarius. And I really feel like the best thing you can do at this time is just, you know, I feel like there's a message here that I need to tell for some Aquarius is where it's just like dismiss the logistics of things. Don't worry about how you're going to have something figure, figured out or what have you. Just do it. Go start fu start functioning more off of your passion, Aquarius. I feel like I kind of need to call you guys out. And I'm usually uh, air signs, I'm the last person to be calling out another air sign because... You know, I feel like all air signs are just extremely creative and extremely passionate. I feel like you guys are starting to lose your passion. And it's partially because you're losing your passion that you might not consider new avenues or you won't bother doing uh, like other type of collaborative energies because of just, I don't know. It feels like some of you Aquariuses are just in a funk and are really struggling to get out of this funk. And it bums me out, man. It bums me out. But I know you're going to be able to get out of it. You will. I know this for a fact. But... Yeah, Aquarius, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I hope you're patient with me with my misspeaking all the time in y'all's video. Um, y'all know I'm not the greatest speaker all the time, but if you found this reading helpful, let me know what cards resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Aquarius, it's just simplyvelka.com. All my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, everything, darling, is just simplyvelka. Um, if you have a friend that's into tarot as well, Aquarius, I would love you. If you I would love if you were to share this video with a friend friend or any friend so they can get a message as well. But until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much. Bye.